common myth that people will say is, oh, there's only a little bit of water in there. In this video today, I'm gonna to use a sample piece of a transom so I can show you the thickness of the layers and the different materials used throughout the construction. So when a boat's laid up in the factory, they'll have a mold and then in the mold, they'll start with the gel coat on the very bottom and they'll put layers of fiberglass matting and resin. From there, it will depend on which areas need the structural support and that's where the timber gets put on top and then fiberglassed in to make it all one. If it's not one, it's not gonna be structurally sound because it's gonna have movement and that's gonna cause problems. With this timber piece, you can see the first layer is the gel coat, which is about two millimeters thick. Then you've got the fiberglass layup and resin, which is about five millimeters thick. From there, you've got the timber coring, approximately 45 millimeters thick. And lastly, you've got the last layer of fiberglass and resin, and then the flow coat on top of that. Some of the most common ways water can get into a fiberglass core is when you introduce a screw. So as you can see, that screw protrudes past the fiberglass layer and into the timber core, and water can start to track down the threads if it's not sealed properly or the seal breaks loose. Over time, that screw tends to corrode and let more and more water in until eventually you've got a rotten timber core. So things like teak decks screwed in to the timber coring, that can cause rot in that area over time. Another key, key phrase thrown around in the industry is delamination, which you might see on a survey report. Now delamination is when this fiberglass layer delaminates from the timber layer or this layer of timber plywood delaminates from the next layer. If you've got these two coming away, it's no longer one and it's no longer going to be structurally sound. So the same principles hold true, for example, stringers and bulkheads of timber cord. If you let water into a stringer, the boat's had a partial submersion, there's a screw hole there, water gets in, it can't get out, um, you cause rot later down the track. Boats with a timber cord transom will either have an outboard or a, or a stern drive fitted. A common myth that people will say is, oh, there's only a little bit of water in there, so it doesn't matter. Now, look, that's fine if you don't put the boat in the water and you don't use it, but as the boat gets used, goes through the normal stresses of driving the boat, and have you know large mechanical forces pushing and pulling on the back of the boat. Now, I thought it was worth mentioning because not every single transom is actually timber cord, so, depending on the, the drive of the boat. So let's say a shaft drive, for example, they don't necessarily have timber coring at the transom because they don't have a stern drive hanging off the back of it. And that's why it's so important to know, firstly, if your transom is prone to be rotten. So if you've only got a, a fiberglass core, um, fiberglass doesn't tend to absorb the water like timber does. Timber has a you know natural water content to start with. And then once you get water in there, that's when you cause rot and it degrades and, and you have a major problem. What happened on this particular piece was it had a transom assembly mounted and the tiller arm comes through here. Tiller arm steering seal is here and it leaked. And what happened was it leaked into this section here and the water was coming in down, tracking down through the timber and it caused this cracking down here. So luckily the rot hadn't spread to the outer areas and this piece was the end of the rot. Now this particular piece is not from Australian built boat. If they had have sealed this section properly from the factory, instead of drilled this out, there would not have been a problem. So the transom, I have seen transom assemblies leak quite regularly in the, but the timber coring still stays dry because it's been sealed properly. One thing I need you to do is tap the like and subscribe button like a surveyor tapping the bottom of your hull so we can continue to grow this channel.